Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you a bunch of my empties, products I've hit pan on, products I've used up, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I have a ginormous bag <laughs> full of stuff. I literally cannot tell you guys how long I've been saving up all of these empties and while I've been waiting to film my empties because I can never get a good time to do it, I have accumulated even more. So, lots of crazy stuff going on. I love doing these videos. I have three other ones that I've made, but I took one down because just the quality and the lighting were really bad and it was just embarrassing. So, I will link those down below. I've seen a lot of beauty gurus uploading their empties lately. It's been crazy. It's like a universal thing where everyone runs out of everything all at the same exact time. So, um... I'll try to sort these into categories and stuff like that and let's get started. I really have so much stuff so I'm just going to start first with these. This doesn't really count because I've probably gone through like four or five of these since the last time I filmed an empties video. But these are the Pond's Evening Soothe Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Chamomile and White Tea. This is a pack of 30. Yay! They can run anywhere from like $5 to like $8. It's ridiculous. Um, but these. They just smell so good. They really are like evening soothe. These are my favorite kind of towelettes. These and the regular Pond's ones are the only ones I will buy anymore because over the summer um, I tried some Almay ones and they weren't giving me any problems and then one day they just like, I had the worst allergic reaction to them ever. Like my lips puffed up and they were swollen and no amount of chapstick to like bring them back to normal. Um, my eyes just got really red and were really swollen and my entire face just hurt for days. And that happened when I tried the Alba Botanicals ones too, which is weird because they're supposed to be all natural. So I just started using olive oil as like an eye makeup remover for a while and I just stopped wearing makeup for a few days because my skin was just freaking out and it hurt. So these are the only ones that haven't bothered me. So those are the ones I've been using. Um, I used up this pack probably like a month ago or something because I currently have my Pond's Original Fresh and then that's half gone so I bought another one of the Evening Soothe. I do include whether I um, like things and whether I'm going to repurchase. Obviously, you know, I kind of like empties videos because it's kind of like your favorites because you wouldn't use something up if you didn't like it, right? I don't know. I guess in some cases that doesn't apply. So anyways, the next thing I have is a Care One Cotton Rounds All Natural Pack of 80. This is just like a little bag. I did um, repurchase a bunch of Cotton Rounds, although not this brand. Um, these are like Stop and Shop brand or something and I couldn't find those. Basically, I just use those for um, like eye makeup remover if I have stuff that just will not come off. I'll use it for toner, basically what I use it for. Just get all the extra crap off my face. Next, I have two little hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. These are like always on sale for five for five dollars, so I literally like hoard them. I stock up every time I go. If you've ever seen me do a Bath & Body Works haul, these are always in them. Um, so the first one I have is Vanilla Buttercream. I was using this like all last winter into like spring. It smells so good. If you like cupcakes, like the cakey smells, vanilla type of thing, it's just really sweet. Oh, it just smells so good. I love it. I also had like warm pumpkin sugar spice in the brown bottle, something like that, that I used last fall that I really liked. I don't know why that's not here. And I also have strawberry cupcake that I used up. I must have thrown them out or something. I don't usually save them. And then this one I literally used up a couple days ago. This is Joy Holiday Frost. So I must have gotten this like last holiday season. It's just very like fruity and yummy. Kind of smells like candy. It's like really pungent. Like whenever I'd put it on someone would be like, oh my god, who just sprayed themselves with something? And I'm like, no, it's just my hand sanitizer. So now I have my vampire blood one in. Even though Halloween already happened, um, I was using it a little bit before Halloween, so I thought it was cute just to like, you know, continue the tradition. Then I will do my three makeup empties. I have a crap ton of hair and body, so I'm just going to do all the categories I don't have a lot in first. Um, my first one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and I have mine in four Sandstorm. Four is a pretty high number, and I'm pretty pale, so I don't know how that works, but this is a pretty light powder. Um, Obviously, I still have a lot left of this. It's really hard to, like, use up powders. And I hit pan in a weird shape. Do you see this? Um, but this I got, like, in June, and I hit pan on it by, like, September. So that's pretty impressive. I really like this stuff. I used it all summer long. It really does mattify your face. I find I do have to touch up, like, 
every like four or five hours during the day if I do want to keep having a matte finish. I just have so many other powders right now that I need to use up so I don't think I'm going to repurchase that one right now but definitely in the future I do really like this. I used to be hooked on my CoverGirl one. You'll see that in my other empties videos but this one is just also really good because it's mattifying and it gives you a little bit of coverage because I had a colored one too. Packaging isn't great because I feel like when you travel this piece could come off but it's also really cute because then you just have your pan it's kind of convenient. It's really inexpensive, so I will probably get it down the road once all my other ones are all used up. So I have two eyeliners I have used up. One is the Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner in Charcoal, and I absolutely love this. It is truly waterproof. Um, it's just like a nice gray color. It's I don't know if this is technically like a used up. I hadn't used it for a long time. And then like the little piece that was left fell out at the end. So I just had this little plastic piece. So I guess that's an empty because it fell apart and stuff. But it was mostly gone anyway. This is one of my favorite drugstore eyeliners of all time. This is like my holy grail empty products thing. I did repurchase this, but I don't think I've started using it yet. It's like still in its package, so yeah. And then this, I actually, the name wore off on it. So, oh my god. Is this Alme or CoverGirl? This is literally so Old. This is like the first liquid liner I ever bought. It's just like a felt tip gray one. I thought gray liquid eyeliner would be a good idea. It's really not. It didn't show up at all. It was like super watery. It's like it will like won't even show up right now. Like it kind of does, but not really. It's just really old and like the end is kind of dried out. I did like this at the time though, clearly because I used it up, or maybe it's just so old it dried out. Either way, I can't use it anymore, so I used it up. This was a really good product. I cannot, for the life of me, I think it was CoverGirl, now that I think of it. But, like, this is literally so old. I've had this since probably 8th grade. That's not sanitary. Then I do have one facial cleanser. This is a holy grail product, guys. Okay, this is, this is either going to sound gross or really impressive when I say it, but I've had this since 6th grade, this exact bottle, and only recently have I used it up. I used to use it every single time I showered and I would wash, no, actually I used to use this every morning and night, and then um, in middle school, and then in high school I would just use it um, like every other day when I was in the shower just to wash my face. It's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser with bursting beads. Amazingly, they still make this. It used to be like really cheap, like $5, and I think now it's like eight or something so it's gone up a little bit i see my friend adam walking down the hill i can like he's like yards away from me but i still recognize him because of his track suit and it's just distracting me because i want to be like hey adam but he can't see me up in my window this bottle is really gross i had to like water it down towards the end because like it wouldn't come out but this is like truly empty i'm always so proud of myself when i like finish up things that i don't normally finish up i never finish up facial cleansers um but this, like, it smells really good. It's really citrusy. I'm kind of sick of it just because I've had it for so freaking long. I do really love this. This kept my acne in check. I don't know how, but, like, this with a combination of my Clearasil pads, I have to do, like, my Holy Grail skincare routine because this would definitely be in it even though I'm out of it now. Um, now I'm using my Clearasil. I have a million other facial cleansers that I can use in place of this, so I'm not sad it's gone. I was working on it for a while there. Um, and the pump broke like years ago, like it doesn't pump anymore, so I had to like unscrew it, pour it out. But I do really like this, it's a holy grail product, definitely recommend everyone to try it out. It's a great drugstore um, cleanser, and it smells really good, and I feel like the beads give you a little bit of exfoliation. It's great for morning, I've used it at night too, it doesn't really wake you up. Um, it's just a great product, and I really like it, but I don't need another one. <laughs> also, another thing. Um, this is my Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel, and I've had this for like maybe two years now. Um, it's mostly empty. There's like a little bit down at the bottom, but it's really hard to get out, so I'm going to have to like get a spoon or something. This is my holy grail oily skin, or combination skin moisturizer. The lotion version of this just is so greasy and breaks me out a little bit but this is just so nice I use it morning night bef after showers um, before I put on my makeup like all the time it soaks in really well it's not sticky it's not greasy it's the perfect consistency it's kind of expensive so that's why I'm trying to get every single last drop of this before I get a new one it's just great I absolutely need to repurchase this all the other I have like three other moisturizers I've been trying 
to use and try and find like drugstore dupes for this and like try new things I hate them all and this just works so much better for my skin and I love it it's just like refreshing and it makes your skin feel clean after you moisturize instead of like sticky and greasy like moisturizer always makes my skin feel greasy so this is made for oily skin or combination skin so definitely try this okay guys so the rest of my empties are actually hair and body and I can't believe how many like products in those two categories I have it's crazy so I'm actually gonna make a part two also my battery is dying so this is like intermission so make sure you check out part two let me know how you like this so far I have a lot of products that are almost empty that I can't quite put in this video yet so I'll probably be making another one of these in like a couple weeks or something when all of those are gone because everything seems to run out at the same time I must buy everything at the same time or something Hey, there's a fellow crutchy. Hi. If I ever wanted to white balance this camera, I could just do it against my face. <laughs>